Hey everyone, it's John. Welcome back. This is part two of our video series about breeding African cichlids. And in this episode, we're going to talk about selecting the fish to breed. It's one of the most common questions I get is, what fish should I breed? What are the easiest fish to breed? Well, I think you should look at it from a different angle. I think you should look at it from what fish are going to be the easiest ones to get rid of in the end? Yeah, I said it. Think about it. If you put all of this time and money and effort into assembling a breeding colony, putting your system together, getting them going, feeding them, maintaining the tanks, they finally breed and then they, they, you raise these fry up, you got another batch of fry on the way and you can't get rid of the fry because nobody wants them? Come on, you're going to get frustrated and you're not going to want to do this anymore. So it makes sense whether you're doing this as an extension of your hobby or if you're doing this as a business, it makes sense to breed the fish that people want. So what are those fish? Well, you know what they are. Because if you're an African cichlid lover, even if you're somebody that's new to African cichlids and you just started getting into them, you all know yellow labs, erratus, red zebras, cobalt blues, albino sacolify. You know all of these embunas that are, that are in every single pet store on the planet. Peacocks, German Reds, Sunshine Benga Yellows, Hybrids, yeah I said it, Hybrids, Firefish, Eureka Red Jakes. These are, these are peacocks that you see everywhere. Maybe not Eureka Red Jakes, but you see them in a lot of places. <laughs> but, and then with your haps, I mean what is the most common hap out there? I'll argue with anybody all day long, the most common hap on the planet or sold in the United States of America to aquarists is the electric blue Ali. And with good reason, it's a beautiful fish. And so, would you rather have a fish that you're gonna breed and have an easy time getting rid of them? Or are you gonna be that guy that breeds the fish that's impossible to find and it's really rare? I mean, that's fun, I do it. I have a fish here that I breed and I take a lot of pride in that it's, it's a difficult fish to find. And people come in here, boom, we get the mouth because they want that fish so bad. But I also have 24 other kinds of fish that I'm breeding. And when we move into the store in a month or so, we're going to be going up to 51. So I can do that because I've also got the other fish that people want. So in the end, you really want this whole process. If you're just beginning or even if you're somebody who's experienced, you want this process to be a fun and enjoyable experience from beginning to end. And the end is getting rid of the fish. So it makes a lot more sense to have a fish that's easy to get rid of. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you the fish that you need to breed. But take a look around. See in your local pet stores or on, on websites or whatever it is. See what fish you see all the time. That's what you need to breed. Now I was told this a while back, a long time ago. I was told this by a person who I believe is the most successful and the best African cichlid breeder in the United States of America, possibly in the world. That might be a little bit of a stretch. But he told me, don't waste time on fish that you have a personal connection with. Breed the fish that are going to sell, because that's what's important. And whether you're a businessman or whether you're a hobbyist, it doesn't matter. You want to sell, you want to have a fish that everybody wants. Even if you're just a hobbyist, you can make a few dollars doing this. I'm not going to tell you you're going to get rich, but you can make a few dollars selling these fish. Maybe it'll be just enough to support the hobby. Maybe you want to buy a couple more fry tanks. You, want, you got to buy food, right? So if you can make enough money by selling these fish to support the hobby, that makes it even more fun. So. Breed a fish that everybody wants. You might look at it as it's not as much fun because you want that fish that's gonna make people go, ooh, ah, well, you know what? The reason why those fish are sold in every single pet store is because they do make people go, ooh, ah. So, to start out, go with something common. Go with something like I told you on the list. There's a few more haps too. I'm not gonna tell you that the only one that you should breed is electric blue Ali's, but those are by far the, the most common. But look around, get an idea, and another thing that probably wouldn't hurt you would be 
go to your local pet store. Not, not the ones that start with a P, not the big box stores, but go to your mom and pop pet store and talk to them. First of all, I promise you that that pet store has Aratus, Yellow Labs, all of the ones that I told you before, Red Zebras, Kenya. But talk to them. Say, hey, look, this is what I'm getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to start breeding fish. I'm doing it for fun. I'm not trying to make a million dollars. Is there a particular fish that you sell a lot of that if I was to bring to you, you would buy from me? And they'll tell you. I mean, they'll tell you which fish that they have, that they, that they sell the most of. And I promise you, because I, this is what I do, I promise you that if you walk in with a bag of those fish that I just mentioned, they'll buy them from you. I'm not going to tell you they're going to give you $10 a piece for these fish, but they will buy them from you. They want them from you because they know they're going to sell. So when we get into a video later about getting rid of the fish, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about getting selling fish to pet stores. It's not the only way that you can do it, but there's a lot of ways to get rid of these fish, but in, ultimately you want it to be easy. And so don't be some kind of, you know, don't be this person that's, only going to breed fish that nobody else has. I mean, you can do that, but you're not going to have as easy a time getting rid of the fish in the end. So pick something not easy. They're all pretty much easy as long as you maintain the tanks and you put them in an environment that's conducive for breeding. They're going to breed. They will do it unless you got a whole tank full of females or a whole tank full of males. They're going to breed. So it's not really what's the easiest fish to breed. It should be what's the easiest fish to get rid of in the end. So that's enough about that. In the next episode, we're going to talk about the tanks, setting up the tanks, what size tanks you need and all that good stuff. So if you want to see that video, subscribe to the channel and you'll get a notification as soon as that video comes out. Also, if you could show us a little bit of love and go on the Facebook page and like us on there, it's backslash KG Tropicals. Follow us on Twitter at KG Tropicals. And then of course, please, Go on the website. I worked hard on that website. All of these fish that you ever see, even these right here behind me, are for sale on the website, www.kgtropicals.com. Check us out. Our prices are competitive with anybody else out there, and we're running a really good special on shipping right now. So anyway, that's enough. We'll see you on the next video. We're going to talk about the tanks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.